Next up on WTV, the PTA Community Fair, Gudi Padua and Ugadi, and the ISN Showcase. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, and I'm Carolyn Caruso with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. As the end of the school year approaches, ISM students show off a culmination of this year's work. WTV's Karina Grohoskaya has more. Independent study mentorship students had a showcase on campus over progress on a work and a future career. Now, ISM students are presenting their original works at a district-wide research showcase. Around November, December time, we had to create trifolds for a research uh, showcase, which is just basically general information about our mission statement, what topic we're going to do, and then also what our original work was about, because that's what we were finishing up at the time. And then recently, we just added information about our mentors for this year and a little bit of information of what, about what our final product would be. And then basically just for showcase, all we've been doing is making sure that our trifold has all the information and just making sure that we know what we're going to be talking about once we actually get there on Thursday. Guests have the opportunity to listen to students' presentations on their topics, the professionals they've interacted with, and their original work. Not only do ISM students get to present their work, but they also get other opportunities as well. At Showcase, not only are there people from Liberty, there's people from all 12 or 13 high schools there, so it's a good chance for us to talk to other ISM students, see what they're doing, and then also at the same time, a lot of people that are coming to Showcase, some people are mentors and others are just professionals that are in the area that have come to see what all these students are doing. So getting the chance to interact with professionals, tell them about what you're going to do. The event is tomorrow at the Forest Center at the Star from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Reporting for WTV, I'm Karina Groskaya. The Frisco ISD Council of PTAs is hosting its 8th Annual Community Family Fair. The Frisco ISD PTA is holding a community family fair. The event includes activities like bounce houses, face painting, raffle prizes, and food trucks. There will also be vendors including Yardigrams, Morel Naturals, and North Texas Escape Rooms. For those interested in a volunteering opportunity, you can also sign up to help with the setup, cleanup, and help throughout the event. The Community Family Fair is being held on Saturday, April 1st from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m at Panther Creek High School. For more information, go to friscopta.org slash fair or scan the QR code below. Reporting for WTV, I'm Sachi Kuchu. Some students on campus are celebrating a different new year. WTV's Varun Saravanan has the details. Many people know about Hindu festivals like Diwali and Holi, but what most people don't realize is that there are several Hindu New Years. Today is the start of the first month Chaitra. So western states of India, like Maharashtra and Goa, celebrate Gudi Padwa. And in the south, states like Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Karnataka celebrate Ugadi. And from a different culture, these holidays had their own traditions. Ma makes it to dessert that's so said to have like all seven different flavors, so like spice and sweet, sweetness and savory and the other four flavors that are there. Ganamani thinks that holidays like Ugadi still represent the same theme as other New Year's. Traditional. Gregorian calendar New Year is you know important because you're you're turning over a new leaf you know that's kind of like how the Telugu New Year is you're turning over a new leaf New Year New Me. Even though these two Hindu New Years are today, there are still more later in the year. Reporting for WTV, I'm Varun Saravanan. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, or visit our award-winning website LibertyWingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. ISM would like to cordially invite you to attend the Research Showcase at The Star on Thursday, March 23rd from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. You can find all of the details on the flyers posted around the school. Mexican American Studies Club is having a meeting on March 29th during advisory to celebrate Women's History Month. There will be trivia games and snacks. All are welcome. The meeting is in Mrs. Franco's room, C215. That's it for today's daily update. This is Carolyn Caruso for Wingspan TV.